Hello everybody. Alright, tonight we're gonna make Gompungi. That is Korean fried chicken. Everybody knows the Colonel makes the best, but the Koreans come in a close second because they make it spicy. Alright, now first things first, you got some little oil in here. I can't see it, but some little oil. I don't know, kind of canola, probably. Anyway, gonna give a squeeze of garlic. About that much right there. A little infant size squeeze there. Next. How about some gochujang? Gochujang is that stuff that Koreans put on every damn thing they make because it makes it spicy. There we go, right there. That's a good thin enough third of a cup. Who knows? This good old American ketchup. God bless America. God bless America. Right here, next thing you know, put in corn syrup. Again, God bless America. Corn syrup adds some sweetness, but it also makes it shiny. And everybody knows shiny stuff is better. You know what else you want to put in there? Some apple cider vinegar. Why? I don't know, why not? I got it. Might as well put it in there. That's it. Heat it, stir it up, make it all nice and good looking. It's going to look red. Duh. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. You don't want to rush it. Ain't nothing good come from Russian, except for vodka. <laughs> you see what I did there? I said nothing good come from Russian except vodka. Anyway, don't work funny business. Let me see here, and it looks okay. You just want to keep heating it up until you get all them garlic chunks down there. You don't want to burn it. I burned it before. I had to buy a whole new pan. Long story. Not an interesting one. Anyway, for those of you out there, this thing here is a saute pan. I don't know what saute means. I'm sure it's in French or something, but I don't care. I'm American. As far as I know, just means cook it really fast with nothing else in it. Alright, that looks good enough. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside while we fry our chicken. Alright, now it's time to do the chicken. I went ahead and did the flour beforehand because every time I do it, I make a gigantic mess and it takes about a half hour to clean up. I'm not a noob, but flour gets all over the place. Anyway, there's a cup of regular old flour and a cup of uh, what you call that stuff that comes from corn. Cornstarch. Makes it crunchy. I got me about 10 pieces of chicken wing. I uh, cut them into little pieces so you have the drumstick and the wingy part, I guess. Anyways, what you want to do is you're going to want to take your chicken and just dump it in there. As you can see, Again, I made a mess. That's what I do. But that's why I'm wearing my kimono. Little known fact, kimono is Chinese for shirt. A lot of people didn't know that. Look it up. It's true. What you want to do is you want to put it here, and then you want to squeeze it, and you want to set it aside. Just do it again. Put it in. The, there you go. Put it in the what you call it, flour. Squeeze it. Set it aside and keep on doing it for the nine or ten pieces that you got. I'm so fancy. You already know. All right there. I tried to learn that song the other day. I almost ran my tongue. Thanks, cab driver. Couldn't stop laughing. Ended up crashing. Next thing you know, I'm buying one of them sculptures at the art place. Wasn't even a good sculpture, just looked like a log. Might have been a bench, I don't know. I don't know what I was looking at. They probably ripped me off. There's also this big damn tree down there made out of metal. Saw some kid stuck to it. Luckily it wasn't hot, it was just really cold. So his tongue was kind of frozen to it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, went over there and yanked him. It hurt, but now he's has a permanent part of the sculpture. Anywho, alright, now we got it all done, go ahead and do that, 
set it aside and if you're like me you're gonna have to clean this crap up or you're not gonna be able to sleep all right all right all right now it is the dangerous part that's when we start messing with the hot stuff you want to take your chicken gently put it in the oil don't throw it in like I've done in the past just end up having to go to the hospital and being like an idiot when they ask you what the hell happened I'm only going to put about four or five pieces in there because I got a small fryer for this one. You're going to want to leave it in there for about 10 minutes. Then you're going to take it out, put the next batch in there, and fry them for 10 minutes. And then take the original batch and then put that back in there and fry that for an additional 10 minutes. And then do it again. Why? Because we want that crunchy outside. Because once we put it in the sauce, you don't want it to get soggy. Everybody knows what soggy is like. Nobody wants soggy. Alright, first fry is done. Yank that out of there. Let it settle. Take him out with your tongs. Unless you are a superwoman, then you can use your fingers. If you're a superman, you can probably use your fingers too, but meh. I'm all about equality here. Dump that back in there. And then you want to take your second match and just dunk it in there. Right there, there number two, number three, and number four. There we go, there you go. That should equal the one dead chicken. Alright, now the final step is here. Ignore the big chicken. I just wanted him to see what would happen if he didn't act right. Alright, here we go. You just want to reheat your sauce, because you don't want cold sauce. Everybody knows cold sauce is no good. If you don't know, just ask me. I'll tell you what's right. What you want to do is you want to heat it up. And then you want to take your chicken that you fried twice. And just dump it in there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wait a second. Five pieces plus four pieces equals nine pieces. That means I had a one-armed chicken in here. Anyways, alright. You just want to mix it up nice and gooey. Nice and gooey, make it all covered. Yeah. You want to make it so your looks like it's like a four-year-old putting on makeup. Just way too much lipstick all over the place. Don't make them look pretty. Just makes them covered. All right. You got that all done. All right then. All you want to do, scoop it out of there. Put it on a nice plate. I got a plate right here. Uno, Dos, Trace, Frijole, and Numero Flavo. And then, of course, you always want to get it with something sweet, so you add something sour. And that's when you add some of that yellow stuff that they use over there. Anyways, that's how you make Gampungi in this situation or way I'm not sure I don't have the book learning to know which words to use but you can make the sauce any way you want sometimes I don't like ketchup sometimes I like honey sometimes I put sugar in there sometimes I put sesame seeds sometimes I put soy sauce sometimes I put water sometimes I don't even make the sauce just eat it soft soft no plain I mean plain anyway that's it. Enjoy.